The word endoscopy is a, a global term for all of the camera tests that we do uh, in the department. Endo meaning looking inside and scopy to, as in scoping. So endoscopy covers a whole range of procedures including gastroscopy, colonoscopy, etc. The purpose is to look within inside of the, uh, the gut and any other organs such as the bladder as well. So it's to really give nice visualisation of the inside of the body. At the endoscope, it's got a light source on the end. So as a light source and a very small uh, processor which takes the images which are then uh, processed and they come up on the television screen and we see them in, in high definition picture in the room. You can use endoscopy to diagnose and to actually treat conditions uh, of, the, of the gut in general. So you can look for stomach ulcers in the stomach, for example, or polyps in the colon, and they can be removed via the endoscope at that point in time. So whilst it's a diagnostic tool, it's also used as a, a therapeutic tool as well. Some of our endoscopy procedures um, may only take five minutes and you may be able to go home after about half an hour. Other tests take a little bit longer, um, may take sort of 20, 30 minutes at times, and you may be here for up to three to four hours. Generally speaking, um, endoscopic procedures are not painful. Some of the procedures we do can be a little uncomfortable, but what we try and do is offer the patient um, some pain relief and mild sedative if they would require it. A mild sedative is, is not quite a general anaesthetic as a lot of people would um, perceive an anaesthetic. It, it, it is really an anxiety reducer and helps them through the process. It does mean that they wouldn't be able to drive home. They do need somebody to pick them up, take them home and stop them for 12 hours afterwards. But usually uh, flows through the pathway very well. Generally, you, you, you feel well after the procedure, um, but you're not able to drive home. You will need somebody to take your home stop with you for the rest of the day, um, 12 hours afterwards. But you can get back to pretty much as normal. Polyps are a very common finding during um, colonoscopies that we do um, in the unit here. And um, they basically are just small fleshy growths within the bowel itself. Um, most of them are completely harmless, but if we find them during the camera test, we can often take them out at the time. Um, or if we can't, we may need to bring you back for a further appointment to have them taken out. Depending on how many we find, we may well need to do further tests um, in the future to check that they, they've stayed away or whether they've come back again in the future. Although we've said they're a very common finding, there's a chance that over a number of years polyps could develop into something more worrying and that's um, a bowel cancer. But by taking them away, we actually get rid of that risk of them developing into anything else. We pass a, an instrument down the, the, the colonoscope, which is normally a snare, and we just uh, cut them off. Now, it's inside the bowel, so you can't feel any pain there at all. The, the bowel doesn't have pain fibres like that, so you, we, we take it off and you're completely unaware that's happening. You can watch it come off on the screen, though, if you want to. Endoscopy is generally a, a safe procedure to undergo. We do uh, hundreds and uh, hundreds every, every year and complications can occur in everything that we do. Complications of endoscopy can include uh, risks of bleeding, which is small, um, and risks of uh, perforation. Those risks are exceptionally small. We usually quote for perforation less than one in a thousand. So it's a, it's a rare complication, but obviously it can, it can occur. Complications vary in a, in a whole range really. Sometimes people can get minor bleeding and we can uh, stop minor bleeding using the endoscope and using therapeutic techniques to do that. If there's such a complication as a perforation, then we, have a, we would have an action plan where we would uh, ask our colleagues to be involved as well. The, the chances of a perforation though are very small. Endoscopic procedures are considered to be the most effective of procedures um, because the area that's to be visualised can be seen in technicolour, um, you know, as it really is, 
Um, also, if there's any samples to be taken to be sent off to the pathology lab, they can be done at the time. And also, if there are any things found, such as polyps, they can actually be removed. The other alternatives to endoscopy um, would be an X-ray procedure, such as a barium. Um, this can still visualise the area, but unfortunately, um, samples and things can't be taken.